start this evening on the coronavirus front around the nation. COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations have been dropping dramatically. According to the World Health Organization, COVID cases have dropped 17 percent in the past week. But is Alabama following the rest of the country in this trend? WDHN's Alex Valdez with the story. Things are moving in the right direction. I, I would caution, however, that if you look at uh, specifically uh, ICU uh, situations, the ICU situation remains very, very challenging. Dr. Williamson says with COVID-19 numbers decreasing significantly around the nation and some parts in the state, he believes within the next several weeks, Alabama is likely to see more steady COVID-19 numbers, but says that that doesn't mean we have reached a safe spot. We are certainly not to a point where we can say that transmission of the virus within the community uh, has gone away, nor can we say that we're back to where we were. In Alabama, 2,179 people were fighting COVID-19, which shows state hospitalizations are trending downward from the peak of 2,961 Alabama saw just three weeks ago. But hospitals around the Wiregrass are not seeing these drops. As of today, Southeast Health has 87 COVID patients in its hospital, with Flowers treating 63. Dr. Williamson tells me even though there are some parts of the state that are seeing a decrease in COVID-19 hospitalizations and cases, it doesn't mean Alabama is out of the woods yet. He says there are still many places around the state that are seeing a significant amount of COVID. Things are beginning to move in the right direction. Hospitalizations are down. Uh, positivity rate in the community is down, as are new daily cases. However, that does not mean that the pandemic is over. This is why he encourages people who are not vaccinated to get their vaccine, and despite your vaccination status, wear a mask while indoors. In Dothan, Alex Valdez, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.